Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you uh, the basic uh, commands to view the configuration and how we can create the firewall policies, uh, how can we save the configuration and some basic command to request uh, the power of system power off and then load uh, default configuration. So um, before I begin, I let me show you uh, the design. In my previous video, as I explained, today we have um, Windows 10 and on Windows 10 workstation, we are running VMware Workstation Pro 14, version 14, that is again, it's a trial version. And then ESXi host uh, running on VMware Workstation and Juniper Firewall um, to mix uh, for data inside and outside, uh, like such as trusted and untrusted. There's a virtual machine on uh, Windows 7 that is also uh, uh, the light, uh, the trial version which is going to be considered as a trusted uh, workstation. So uh, let me show you the the configuration. So this is my Juniper SRX virtual edition. Show interface terms as I explained. Gig 000 is going to be my uh, untrusted zone and Gig 000 is trust is on and if you see show ARP um, when you see uh, the show ARP these are the ARP entries for all these machines which are coming uh, from the different NICs so at the moment at the moment uh, there are two security zones trust untrust and there is a security zone that is called Juno source and this is basically to access the devices when we create uh, uh, the, the policies and when we allow the host inbound traffic. So uh, before I start some few commands, as you can see these are the most, uh, at, we are at the root stage uh, uh, mode. So as you can see the few commands which we can use for uh, uh, for day to day uh, work and also the, while we are doing the troubleshooting. So show is the most commonly used command to verify the configuration from the root level. And then uh, the other file, there is a file command through which we can save and download and transfer the file between the TFTP server and, uh, and the local host. Uh, the other command is the ping command and the ping command is basically to check the, the communication between the host uh, and uh, the internal and external that is also being used for the troubleshooting. Uh, some test command for the diagnostic purpose and and there's also a command called request a request is basically to uh, uh, you can request for the system halt you can power off the systems you can restart the system so basically to re request it's like a authorization to uh, uh, to to put the device power off uh, put the device in the power off. so first of all let me show you request command when you see request system you see power off when you see power off that means you can shut down the machine and shut down the router itself as a device uh, you can also reboot the uh, hardware by putting this command request system reboot normal ping command you can run ping this is my gateway so i can ping 192.168.0.1 that is my gateway to stop this you press ctrl z or ctrl c when you are at the this mode edit is where you can make the configuration similarly when you configure you can, you're in the same mode uh, you can configure it uh, so uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, make uh, two zones, uh, trusted as is going to be inside zone, untrusted is going to be uh, outside zone. And I'm going to move the gig 001 and 000 as per uh, the current configuration. And then I'm going to uh, create some policies to uh, allow communication between the host. Okay, so I restore the configuration back to default configuration. Uh, so let me see. Uh, okay, Try interface looks like 
has not been restored yet. So let me load the default set system root authentication very first. see trust and untrust zones now it's bank it's restored back to factory now I'm going to delete security zones trust security zone trust and similarly untrust I'm going to delete security policy from zone trust to trust and similarly untrust commit now I'm going to create security zone secure inside, similarly outside, set interface click, zero, 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 Inside, outside, trust and untrust. I think it's not been deleted. Security zone, trust, trust. Security zones. Okay, so trust and untrust deleted. Now let me set security policy from trust from zone inside to outside policy in to out image source. any match match application any okay so security policy from inside inside to inside into the source address to set the IP address set interface gig 001 unit 0 okay so let's verify what we have covered in this video so uh, we learn uh, how to view the configuration on the Juniper SRX we created uh, two zones inside and outside zones 
and created multiple firewall policies between inside to outside and inside to inside. We also learned how to save the configuration by using the commit uh, configuration and also um, we understood how we can request the system to be powered off and uh, uh, reboot and also how we can restore the uh, or how can we load the configuration back to the factory default. I also sh uh, like to show you some uh, uh, some command with respect to uh, how we commit and save it. So uh, when you are in the edit mode and when you see commit there are different options available for commit. As you can see uh, the most commonly used is commit check and commit and quit. It means like when you commit con uh, check that means it's going to verify your command whether those commands you uh, are uh, whether the command you have applied for implementing uh, the configuration it is going to be verified whether those command is correct or not. Uh, commit um, and quit that means like uh, when you commit and quit uh, that means you will come back to the root level after committing the change and the last is commit confirm that means like uh, it's going to ask you when you when are you going to uh, uh, save the configuration and so if you see commit confirm and confirm it says if you don't confirm after 10 minutes it's going to roll back so it says automatically roll back in 10 minutes unless you confirm so it's going to let you know that uh, if you're not confirming it's not going to save it and it's going to do a roll back uh, the other option is commit and quit so if you see commit and quit commit and quit that means it's going to save the configuration and it will bring you to the root level and another option is commit check it says going to check your commands which are going to apply on the, the configuration so let me show you uh, one more command it's rollback so if you going to roll back the configuration it's basically give you the number of changes which have been done so if you really want to roll back the configuration at this stage of one you can save it or if you really want to roll back the configuration at 10 10 a.m. that means you can restore back to at this stage these are the date I mentioned for 2018 and uh, this video uh, is now uploaded on uh, uh, the new date thank you